y'all welcome back to my channel and welcome to a very unexpected walmart shop with me part two wasn't planning on filming today i got my hair in a ponytail but i went to a walmart on the different part of town and they had completely different stock so many amazing items i cannot wait to share them with you guys so i'm gonna have all these items listed below in the description box as always but be sure to stick around to the end of the video because i will share with you guys what i got y'all did request that in my last walmart shop with me and without further ado let's get into it Okay, so I headed for accessories first and I was so excited to see these tote bags in store. They've been staying sold out online and in store you can buy them separate as opposed to together. And they did also have the mini makeup bag up top. And then there was a huge selection of very boho, summery type bags from No Boundaries on one whole wall. They had pretty much all of the ones that I've seen in online in store. The striped one, this little mini festival bag I have shared, it's perfect size for your cell phone. And then of course, one of my favorite summer bags is that granny square one. One. Also a bag I've shared before is this purse, this bucket bag in a blue gingham. I love it in the black and brown as a great everyday bag. And that colored enamel trend is really hot right now. And then also this store, well one, it was so clean and organized, but they also had all of the duffels. I've shared the smiley face one, but I think the black is really awesome. Also they had the Vera Bradley lookalike totes, another great little weekender bag. And they had a pretty big selection of Madden NYC at this store. So I'd never seen these little mini backpacks before as well as these crossbodies that have little mini bags on each of them that are glitter. This style with the, the camera strap is really popular right now. So they had it in a cream, this tie dye, the baby blue, which I actually really liked as well as a pink and a black. I thought those were pretty similar to this style, which is the one that I ended up getting. This one right here is the mint, but it also comes in lavender. I got it in black. It was the last one though, so I didn't get footage of it, but I will show you in the car. Also, one of my favorites has been this slide in white. I've never seen it in store before. Unfortunately, they did not have it in my size in the black or I would have gotten that too. And another favorite from No Boundaries, I have shared these before in brown, but I love the light blue as well as the lavender. You might be picking up on a theme here. These are very on trend colors for the season. So I love seeing them at Walmart. The next two pairs of shoes are staying sold out online. So if you can grab them in store, I would. The first is this ruched sandal. I love the nude color, brown color on that one. And the bow slides, these are like $12, $13, an incredible deal. And this Walmart was very well stocked on all the colors. Now don't sleep on flip flops and water shoes at Walmart. These are always an in-store only purchase. I did pick up a pair, but there's a pair of flip flops for only $4. You cannot beat that. And then their other really popular summer, um, water shoe has been this kind of Yeezy look for less. They're the pillow slide. They're all over TikTok. Also really fully stocked on that. Now over in bras, I had never seen this brand before. It did catch my eyes. I walked by and it's called Kindly. It's a sustainable line. They have a ton of different options. So I did decide to pick up the black bralette, but they have some patterns, some really fun colors. I didn't even see a size chart though. So I just guessed a large. We'll see. Also, I'm a sucker year round for some cozy wear. This was a delicious light fleece, um, no boundary sweatshirt over by PJs. And then after PJs, there wasn't too much new going on. I did head over to swimsuits and I saw that they were fully stocked on this ruffle swimsuit that I shared, I think back in February that stayed sold out as well as this ruched one. So if you're looking for the black one pieces, I would definitely check your store. I've never seen this one before, so I did pick it up. I'll show you guys more in the car, but I loved the color. And then over on an end cap in the swimsuits, they did have this whole bin full of no boundaries flip flops. I've actually already grabbed this black pair, but these are an in-store only purchase come in a lot of color options. They have that jelly feel to it. And I also saw that this location had a huge selection of the BCBG bikinis, like this adorable white and blue one. They did have a teal one and a palm print that matches my favorite Walmart kimono. I'll link it below. And then over in women's fashion, I saw this very summery looking crochet crop top from Scoop. I do wanna order up a large in this one and they didn't have my size, but definitely one I'm gonna go back after. And then by Free Assembly, I saw this um, collared little pullover from Free Assembly. I did get this. I forgot to show it in the footage though. What I didn't pick up though are these Free Assembly shorts because they were completely out of larges. And then another one that I want to size up in. It felt like a towel material. They're only $14. Not available online yet, but I'm going to stock them till I can find them. And then this location had also just put out a couple of scoop dresses. 
I did go ahead and get this, but I'm gonna save it for an upcoming video, so stay tuned. This one, this little polka dot top was the only one I could find. It wasn't in my size, but one that I'm gonna order online because I'm a sucker for a good polka dot in the summer and the fabrication felt really nice on this one. And speaking of polka dots, I did see they had this scoop slit dress. I actually have this dress. I really like it and I saw it's on clearance right now on Walmart. It wasn't in store. That was an online only thing, so I will link that below. And then they did just put out these off the shoulder um, scoop dresses, which I did pick up in yellow, another one that you will see in an upcoming video, but scoop is just killing it on dresses right now. And then if you followed me for long, you know I love this boyfriend tee from Time and True. I talk about it all the time. It's $10. This is this year's striped version. And then this shirt I didn't get also from Time and True. Now that I'm watching the footage back, I'm kind of regretting it. I love the little embroidery detail on the side. I think it looks very summer. In addition to the white, they also had it in a navy and white, which is maybe the one that I prefer. I'm probably going to have to go back after this one. And yes, it is only $15. Now over in jewelry, I have shared a lot of scoop jewelry recently, but I hadn't seen this charm stacked necklace. I did get the pink one, but they also have it in green. And then right next to that, they had these jewelry case pouches that I think look very stony clover. I want to say these were around $25, which is about a third of the price of that brand. And then over in seasonal, I kind of go in heavy on packed party, but they have so many awesome summer finds. So this is their striped beach towel. It's $13. I will say it did feel more like a beach blanket. It was a decent size and it was over by kind of all the 4th of July stuff. I can't tell if this was either just being put out or sold out, but they had also a lot of party items, some um, platters, but what I really loved was this pink smiley face tumbler. It was around $10 in addition to the smiley face. They also had the other style that says living for the weekend. That one was also $10. And then I grabbed this tumbler as soon as they were stocking it on the floor. So I know this is brand new. I've shared it a lot in black, but I am loving the spring summer colors. And then on the other side of first walk in and season they also had a huge display of Gap Home, which I've actually never seen in store before. So I was pretty excited. They had some bathroom accessories, um, some towel sets on the other side. They did have some sheet sets as well as some comforters, which were pretty picked over in certain spots. So I'm gonna have to say that this has been pretty popular. And they also had some very summery dish sets on the other side and some tumblers on the bottom. On the opposite wall and seasonal still, they had a huge display of summer towels. It's really getting me in the mood to go to the beach or the pool but I absolutely loved these from Better Homes and Gardens. And these were only around 15 bucks. Also right next to them were some mainstay ones that equally looked summery, had a stripe pattern, and those were six. And then on the opposite wall, I saw the best ribbed tumbler glasses. I got several of these. I love that these are plastic. I feel like they also look very on trend. So I did get the shorter glasses, but they also had some taller ones as well as some pitchers. I think there was also an ice bucket that I I didn't get footage of. It did seem like a full line and it was all very, very reasonably priced. But y'all, how amazing is this new collection from Better Homes and Gardens? They did have a little outdoor caddy. This is a natural oval tray. I feel like it just screams summer to me and a lot of really great serving pieces. They're calling this their serving board. It's $16. They also had a couple of different charcuterie boards like this um, round one here for 15. I ended up getting this rectangle one right here. I mean, can you ever have too many charcuterie boards? And and then right next to it in that same natural wood was a cake stand. Um, those were around $20. And then right next to that, also from Better Homes and Gardens, was this white tin galvanized looking collection. I loved this serving set. You can't really tell because it's all packaged, but you are getting a tray and then you're getting four um, little, I think they're calling them bowls, but they're little rectangles. This also right here is an ice bucket. I love that it has a lid. It was around $13, but they have a lot of other options. Like right below that, this is a little utensil holder, or I guess it has dividers. You could use it for a lot of things, as well as this collapsible serving tray tray. They also had some circular trays and then all along the bottom were different bin sizes. I think these would be awesome to put some ice in, put your favorite drinks in. And then as I rounded the corner to go to the garden section, I saw this very anthropology looking light from the Dave and Jenny collection. I don't know who this is. If you guys know who it is, comment below, but they do make a very pretty outdoor light. 
And this store, I really have to brag on their garden area. It all was again, so clean, so well organized. I was in my happy place. I did see this raised garden bed that caught my eye as I walked by. It's around $50. I'm not quite sure where I would use this, but I loved it. And then right next to it, they also had a kid's garden bed. I thought this was really sweet. It does have a chalkboard on the other side. And then right above that was a very expensive looking raised garden bed on wheels from Better Homes and Gardens. And that one was around 60 bucks. And then as I was leaving the garden center, I did see the new Care Bear Wet n Wild. Not honestly anything that I'm super interested in, but I did see that this was a fairly recent Wet n Wild launch. So it looked like they had some cosmetics, some makeup brushes and makeup bags. And then as I was heading out to leave, I, I saw yes, more packed party. I didn't realize they had hair accessories, like different hair bands, different clips. Um, they had mirrors, some really fun brushes, a shower cap, some scrunchies. It's all very festive looking. I would keep that in mind for gifts. Okay, this is in no particular order, but first up I did pick up this basket all in one, this woven serving caddy. This is awesome. You can keep your plates, your napkins, all that in it. Whether you want to take this on a little picnic or have it in an outdoor area. I don't have an exact dupe for this because I just saw it in store, but to me it definitely looks like something that you would see for two, three, maybe even four times the price from Pottery Barn. The quality on this is so awesome and I do love that it has a little handle. I did also pick up the charcuterie board from the same Better Homes and Gardens line. That whole part of the store might have been my favorite part of the haul. I did go with the longer rectangular one, but they had so many good options. If you are looking for a wood tray, a cheese board, this is the time. All right, next up, I went crazy over these tumblers. I have shared these before in black because they look so similar to the Starbucks ones that are 20 plus dollars. I want to say, I forget the price on these, so I'm not even going to misquote, but I will have it below in the description box. So I did pick up the white one, the pastel blue. And then one of these bags, oh, right here, is the pink one. And I know these are brand, brand new because the poor guy was trying to put them out as I was scooping them off the shelf. I love these colors. I don't actually think I got any footage of this one, but at this store, they had a huge display of new Reebok bags. So there were crossbody bags, belt bags, um, backpacks. If I can find the links to any of them, assuming they're not just sold in store, I will go ahead and link them below. But I did pick up this black belt bag. I love a fanny pack, a belt bag, I go in on them. So this does have some mesh right here and it is a front pouch. There's also a logo on the front. It does have a place to clip on your keys and the strap is adjustable. Okay, another tumbler. This is from the packed party section that I did share with you guys in store. I think this was around $9 and it does say on it smiles all around. I'm a, I'm a sucker for a good tumbler glass, especially in the summer and the pattern on this one definitely got me, but they had so many awesome finds for summer and some more cups. <laughs> These were around $3. I love that they have that vintage look. I've been seeing all the aesthetic girls on TikTok with these. And what I loved about them though, is they're plastic. So I did buy four of these. I'm either gonna have these be like my outdoor cup um, because they're plastic and I know they're not gonna break outside or I might take these to the office, but I thought these were so fun. The phone actually shut off from being too hot. April in Texas probs, you'd never know it since I'm in a sweatshirt. But yeah, we'll see how long I can film for before it dies again. But I did also pick up this Aquifer um, lip repair stick. I normally just use Aquifer in the tube, but I saw a girl the other day on TikTok have it in the stick form. So I'm gonna try it out. Y'all, I'm so excited. This Walmart that I went to was fully stocked on those awesome patchwork bags that I've been sharing with you guys. The vacay one was the only one I haven't been able to get my hands on. The colorway on this is so fun. I love the bright pink really looks like something you'd see from Stony Clover that would be hundreds of dollars. So they did have the bag as well as the mini pouch, which I got as well. And actually they were in full stock of all of them. So if you're not able to get your hands on these online, I highly recommend checking back um, at your local Walmart and seeing if you can get it. I also picked up this, which I, this brand might've been around at Walmart. I've never seen it before though. And it's called Kindly. They do have a sustainable line. Um, it looked like it was all bras, but I've never heard of it. So I could totally be wrong. I'll have to do some recon when I get home, but I did pick up their little bralette. I want to say this was around 11 or $12. I picked it up in a large, so I will report back on the size. So a couple of other items from the adorable new Better Homes and Garden line was this ice bucket. I, oh, and actually now that I'm looking at it, they have my same ribbed cups that I just shared with you guys in their photo. 
I really liked this ice bucket because it had a lid. I think it looked very expensive. And also from that line, I did pick up the serving tray. I, another Texas prop. I think this is gonna be awesome this summer for putting some tortilla chips in the middle. And then I can have some queso, some hot sauce, some guac. I'm making myself hungry just thinking about it. I wanna say this one was around $13. And I did also pick up a swimsuit. I haven't tried any of the BCBG swimsuits, so I'm not sure if it's true to size or not, but I did get this in a medium. Another one that I was a sucker for the hot pink color, which actually that might go together with my vacay bag nicely, but I do like the keyhole cut out in the front. I'll report back if this one fit or not. And I know these are never available online, but I love every summer picking up a fresh pair of Walmart flip flops. These were around $4. I like to have these just for going to the pool or even keeping at my back door when I need to go walk my dogs. I feel like they have the best inexpensive flip flops. This store also, like you guys saw in the video, had a display of Madden NYC bags. So I did get this one. It actually reminds me of the Amazon bag that I've shared a lot with you guys, but this one is a little bit more compact. I wanna say this was around $16. It is a black quilted. You are getting a mini bag that's detachable if you don't wanna have it on there, you don't have to. And it has the camera strap that we've been seeing everywhere. Two more items left. This one is a pink charm necklace. I love this, it reminds me a lot of an Express necklace that I wore a couple of years ago. I feel like I wore it in every video until Express discontinued it, it was such a bummer. So this is definitely giving me that layered up, bougie in the summer vibe. I really liked this. I wanna say it was around $18. And I have one more item back here. And it is the Better Homes and Gardens serving tray. I forget how much this one was, maybe around $18, but this tin right here is removable, which I think makes it really versatile depending on what you wanna use it for. I think it'll be fun for some summer backyard parties. Y'all, I was so tempted to get this whole line from Walmart. It looks beautiful. If you guys pick anything up, let me know below in the comments what you get. All right, y'all, that wraps up today's video. Let me know below in the comments which item was your favorite. And I'm currently working on so many different Walmart videos right now. Part two of my accessories video, um, 20 items under $20, new at Walmart. There's so much Walmart headed your way. So if you love Walmart, be sure to hit that subscribe button. Thank you guys so much for hanging out with me today and I will see y'all in the next one.